wow 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 i just want us to just take a minute and just say thank you to the lord this is september we just stepped into the ember months letting us know that we have entered the last lap of 2023 and here you are alive here you are strong here you are healthy even though yes you may not have achieved everything you have planned to but hear me let's just take a minute and just say father thank you thank you lord for your faithfulness thank you lord for your kindness thank you lord for being our god this is the first of september 2023 and here we are alive strong and healthy to see this new month lord we thank you for the month of august we are grateful lord hallelujah glory to god my name is franklin wilson and this is encounters with the power seed don't forget it's still the life center network your gateway to possibilities and today's topic i like it because it's saying to you victory is here victory is here wow so this month i wanted to step into this month knowing that victory has come now let's look at the key text for today it says in first john chapter 5 verse 4 it says for whatsoever is born of god overcometh the world and this is the victory that overcometh the world even our faith wow so the victory that overcometh the world is our faith now the background and the thoughts on this text you see our father and the lord said here he said as the year begins to wind down and the end of this age draws nearer you see a lot of us will begin to a lot of things will begin to happen and some things that are already happening will get out of control you already know what's going on in the world today the hardship you know the disappointments here and there you the the the, the challenges all around the world today pastor is letting us know that things will get worse things will still get out of control he said negative news will multiply accidents will be on the increase people will die many will backslide and question the authority and integrity of jesus don't be scared just follow me you see at this point in the year people are retrospecting on how the year has been people are thinking how has the year been because of this some of these people get worked up about what they have been unable to achieve and this leaves them confused this leaves them confused anxious and discouraged now these feelings of discouragement anxiety and fear will become the devil's weapon against you if you let them i i want you to understand this i want you to know that the devil is out because the year is ending. The year is ending. A lot of people are getting desperate. But you see, the devil has no power. He only leverages what you give him as a tool against you. The devil only takes advantage of what you give him as a tool. It is what you give him he uses against you. This month we won't give him nothing in the name of jesus christ you see have you noticed that when you begin to apply boldness and faith to situations they seem to have never existed have you noticed it you see with a little shift in your approach you can cut the devil off your space and send him packing and i believe god that all through this month if, if you can stay through to this devotional same time on this same station i know that you will learn all you need to learn that will help you make that shift now how do we apply all this into our lives the truth is this i want you in the month of september to do life from the place of victory make up your mind to do life from the place of victory are you a child of god if yes then you have already overcome the world if you are a child of God, if you are born again, hear me, you have already overcome the world. You have overcome sickness, you have overcome oppression, you have overcome untimely death, you have overcome miscarriages, 
You have overcome poverty, near success syndrome, witchcraft, barrenness, and any hardship that, that may ever plague the world. You are not of this world. You overcome them because Christ overcame on your behalf. While you go after your dreams and pursue life with tenacity, don't think you are trying to be victorious. Hear me now. Don't think you are trying to be victorious. You are already a victor. So get in there with this confidence. You are already a victor. This month, stand firm in the place of victory. Hear me? Victory is here. I round up with this. Many of you watch movies. And you know that in every movie, there is always an actor. And there's something they say in my dialect. Ato Anna and Wow, that is Ato no they die. Doesn't matter what happens, he must surely come out what? Victorious. And that is your story this month. Doesn't matter what happens, you are coming out victorious because God has already made you a victor in Christ Jesus. Praise the Lord. Can you pray with me right now? Say, Father, thank you for my identity in Christ Jesus. I declare that I am victorious and therefore I live above situations, circumstances and the pressures of life in the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to scream at, as much as you can. Shout it, I'm a victor. I am victorious in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Don't forget this is still encounters with the power seat on your favorite on the Life of the Network. Until you come your way again, same time, back tomorrow. Keep living in this beautiful atmosphere filled with encounters. Bye bye. There are men that rise by level, there are others that rise by favor. There are men that toil their way to the top, there are others the oil of God takes to the top. I am a man helped by God. His oil has lifted me to the top. And today I want to invite you to encounter that God that lifts men, to encounter the God that changes destiny, to encounter a God that answers prayer, to encounter a God that can make you what you want to be. I want to invite you to meet a God that can never fail. And today your life will change for good. Is it Chimo? Oh, yeah, Is it Chimo? Oh, yeah, Is it Chimo? Is it Chimo? You're the God who never, never, never fails.